Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys and today is an important video because it's the first time ever I managed to get a perfect day in the Legend League. And no event troops, this is normal Clash of Clans troops. Eight attacks, eight three star attacks, yes. It's taken me a long time, so sorry about that guys. But I'm not a very good player, so I'm confident if you use this attack strategy as well, hopefully you'll do well. So this is the army we used, one minion, two witches, two super valks, one headhunter, four electro titans and six root riders. Don't worry, the army copy link is in the video description. Spells, two rage, two freeze, two clone and a skeleton spell to sprinkle on top and a poison spell of course as well. Clan castle troops, two yetis. And whatever else you want in there. We just need those yetis to take out the town hall. Hero equipment, guys. I know what you're thinking. What have you been using? Default hero equipment for this attack strategy. Even better. But obviously you can use the giant gauntlet healing tome. That will make it more powerful. So the first stage of the attack normally, guys, is just pick a side to spam your troops against. Normally I do it where the enemy queen is and the eagle artillery. So we're going to put down the root riders first of all, then the electro titans, then your witches with the super valks in the center. Send in your heroes. Don't send in your raw champion early though. Send her in later. I like using the battle blimp. So send the battle blimp through the grand warden's ability. Protect it. Deliver it to the town hall and then put down a rage spell and maybe a free spell to help it out. It's important we take out that town hall and keep the main army well away from the poison bomb. Then send in your royal champion when it's safe to do so. I've got the spirit fox with the royal champion. That is an absolutely amazing combination. Then the clone spells, guys. You've got two clone spells. We're going to clone the root riders. One max level clone spell will clone two root riders. That's amazing. So look where the root riders are. Have a look where they need some extra help and use a clone spell to help out. Then it's about using your hero ability, sending in your headhunter when you need it. I always forget, that's why we've still got a headhunter left. Mike the minions on the battlefield on the left-hand side, so you know we've got a good chance of getting three or four stars if he's on the battlefield. And yeah, guys, this is just so easy to use. The Electro Titans work really well. They take out enemy skeleton traps, things like that. Yeah, very powerful, very easy to use spam attack. And like I said, it took me... It's taken me years to get a perfect day in the Legends. I've had seven three stars quite a few times, but I've always just not managed that last attack. So it was a very nice experience finally managing to get a perfect day in the Legend League. We do have another replay in just a moment. And guys, if you're new to the channel, it's the first time you've been watching a video from Samoose Gaming, then what I try and do is bring you nice, easy-to-use spam attacks for the casual player like me. You know, I've got a maxed out Town Hall 16 base nearly, I mean, it's nearly maxed out, but I, I still think of myself as a bit of a casual player. You know, I'm not very good at La Loon or anything like that. So on to our next replay through the clouds we go. And I just wanted to illustrate how powerful it is. So this is a friendly challenge against my own base, which is nearly maxed out Town Hall 16. Most of the defenses are. Let's see how it does against this. So same again, line of root riders, spam attack from the left hand side, send in the battle blimp, protect it nice and early. Clan castle troops are out. Grand Warden ability used. If there's an air sweeper, freeze it, guys. Make sure we get that battle blimp to the town hall. And then I put down a rage spell on the town hall to help the yetis take it out. And sometimes a freeze spell as well if I'm not confident that the yetis are going to be able to take it out. Because like I said, it's pretty important to take out that town hall. I mean, just think how much damage that town hall and the poison bomb does to your army if it walks through it. Thousands of damage to your troops. You don't want that. So how are we doing here? I think we've used the clone spells to clone some root riders. Don't worry if you accidentally clone an electro titan. It's okay, guys. It sometimes happens. And we're taking out that multi-inferno. No, the multi-inferno is laughing at us in the center of the base. It survived a root rider attack. And guys, do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus army for more attack strategies like this. Now, hero equipment as well, guys. I recorded this before the recent event because I thought, yeah, I managed to get a perfect day in the Legend League, but I didn't want to release this video during the event because everybody's using event troops. That's why I've waited a few weeks to release it. So guys, yeah, probably you're going to have some decent hero equipment now. I'd say use the Giant Gauntlet level 9 plus, definitely on your king. I'd say the Healing Tome level 9 plus as well. They're my top two choices to improve your hero abilities. They're fantastic, they're powerful, so get them as soon as possible. Mike the Minion on the left-hand side, the most powerful troop in Clash of Clans. Oh, no, he got taken out. 
Anyway, guys, yeah, do remember on this channel as well, we do have something called a creator code. That's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code before making any purchases. Any support would be amazing and you do need to renew it once a week. I hope you have lots of fun with this attack strategy and get lots of three stars. Let me know in the video comments. Have a lovely day. Bye.